Good day, everyone. A little review about the um, little uh, do-it-yourself voltmeter available at icstation.com. And uh, I got two. So one is already pre-assembled. And the other one is all in parts, just to show little parts that's available with it. And uh, also that is very, very easy to assemble. All the parts are labeled very, uh, very well, very easy to read. And it gives everything. And I'm going to explain a little bit how um, those three little pin here and the switch work as well at the same time. So... Um, Right now I have it hooked up to a little variable power supply and it has a maximum of 30 volts. Please do not exceed 30 volts. If not, you will end up like me burning my voltage regulator and uh, this incident happened when you, uh, well, when you exceed 30 volts. Luckily nothing else was damaged beside the little voltage regulator which is right here. And it says that it can take up to uh, 25 volts. So at 30 volts, it was still working, but <clears throat> you know, do not exceed 30 volt. And also, <clears throat> as you can see, there's a little wire here for the simple reason that if you press that little switch here, it will actually read the voltage off this two prong and also be powered by these two prong. So depending on what you want to do, it actually is uh, very useful if you just want to monitor a, um, let's say, your car voltage. Well, you can just simply hook up two wires and you get everything. This little potentiometer here is actually for calibrating the voltmeter to make sure that it is uh, properly calibrated. And uh, if you press it, this actually gives you the opportunity to read the voltage from here and sets set a uh, voltage right here to power the, the voltmeter. Let's say if you want to read 1.2 volts or lower because this will read from 0 to 30 volt. And the little voltage regulator actually regulates it at 3.3. So if you want to read anything below 3.3 you need to power it with external power. So I'm having my little handy dandy power supply. Thumbs up for this one. 3.3 volt and as you can see, uh, 5 milliamps to power that. And I'll just go ahead and increase the voltage here. And my current uh, variable power supply exceed the 30 volt for the input. So, uh, but no, no really damage happened because it's all it passed through resistor and and uh, so n you won't damage the um, the at the 80 mega. That's reading the voltage, but I wouldn't recommend going higher than 30 volt. So keep that in mind. If you want to use this for higher, well, it might not be a good uh, idea. But if not, for anything lower than 30 volt, it is an actual very, very nice little power supply. Uh, response is actually quite fast. So um, makes it good for, for fast changing voltage. And, well, it's... Uh, it's a nice one. There's not much, not much else, much else to say besides uh, thumbs up for for this little part, the, this little um, voltmeter, and um, I like it. So I'll probably build the other one and uh, convert it to a uh, amp meter. It's actually very easy to do with uh, a little uh, resistor, shunt resistor in series, and well, actually in parallel with the voltmeter, and then, uh, but. We'll see that later, if it actually works, or I might just hook it up to my uh, my car to monitor the charge of the battery. Cause the winter here is uh, quite horrible for <laughs> for the battery. So uh, for those who wants to buy this, it's actually pretty neat. It's uh, very cheap too for uh, something that you can actually build it yourself. And <clears throat> uh, like I said, it actually used an AT mega, so you could actually. I don't know if you can see it clearly here. Mm, not really. But it's uh, 80 mega, so you could actually reprogram this chip to read different thing. Maybe change the dot to here to read something smaller, whatever. So here you go. Do it yourself, little voltmeter. 
thanks for uh, watching.